What's up guys, Stein back with another video. Work on yourself. Most people don't work on themselves and most people are consumed by other people working on themselves. Like think about this, think about sports, think about music creators, think about actors. Most people are con constantly consumed talking about other people, what other people are doing. They're talking about sports, who's the star player, what are they doing? Like, who cares? Like, how does that affect you as a person? You as an individual, how does that affect you? How are they making your life better? They're not. They're simply entertainers, and they simply have no value on your life as an individual. They have no intrinsic value. How, how you or yourself as an individual is going to get better. Most people are literally constantly consuming other people's garbage, and they're not really getting anything out of it. For example, watching TV of these actors, watching a TV show of actors that literally do this for a living, and it's just to make you laugh. Perfect example, you get nothing out of that. Watching a sports team, you get nothing out of that. Watching another man grind and perform to the best of his ability while you sit there on the couch, you sit there and watch him. That's when a lot of people like, like, like to do that, and it just makes no sense to me. You can be working on yourself, like, all the time. So, <clears throat> and every possible moment, like, literally, every single possible moment of your day needs to be consumed of, this is, like, every possible moment of your day needs to be consumed of, of things that are going to make you better, make you happy, or make you, um, 50, 50 cents quote, where... This is my, it's my favorite favorite quote by 50 cents. He says, I'm not doing it if it's not either. That was the last one, making money. If it's not making you money, if it's not making you better, or if it's not making you happy, then you're not going to do it. Most people, like, like this is why I don't like sports and, and watching, going to concerts. Like, you're getting nothing out of this other than watching somebody else develop their life better. Watching, you're paying someone else for the value like, don't get me wrong. Did they earn where they got? Yes. But you get your, yourself as an individual, as you, you get nothing out of that interaction. You get zero benefit from watching another person perform at a concert or watching sports for another, unless you actually play the sport. Most people don't actually play the sport, though. They just watch it just to watch it, which makes no sense to me, like, why are you doing that? You need to be finding out other you need to find out better ways to occupy your time because like I said, you want to be entertaining your time with things that are gonna benefit you as an individual. Working out, reading books, meditating, journaling, <clears throat> visualizing, like doing doing the little things every single day and what they should be are big things because they add up and they literally matter so much in life. They should be big things, but count them as little things because we all have other obligations that we're, you know, that we have to attend to. Everyone has obligations, but these little things, like what you said, working out, you don't have to work out, but you should work out and you need to work out. You must work out. It's something, that's the way you need to change your mind, mindset because most people have the attitude of, oh, I don't need to work out, but you need to have the attitude of, I must work out. I need to work out. I need to read these books. I need to meditate. I need to visualize. I need to practice affirmations. I need to do these small little things. I need to journal. I need to do these things so I myself as an individual can develop as a person. This is what you need to be doing every single day. So that way you can get better as an individual and not simply consume other people's stuff and not get yourself in a better position than you were yesterday you need to be putting yourself in a better position today than you were yesterday and that's by doing the little things right by learning every single day by working out getting your body better every single day getting better every single day putting yourself in a better position than you were yesterday because if you don't like where you're at in life there's probably reasons for that. There's And there's things you need to change. There's things you need to do every single day. To get yourself to a point where you're actually somewhat decently happy with yourself and your success and what you have accomplished. Or 
what you're trying to, um, what you're going towards, what your goals are right now, what, <clears throat> what you should be doing, what you must be doing, what you have to do every single day. It's a simple mindset trick that would solve a lot of people's problems because a lot of people do not work on themselves. They simply, they don't work on themselves. They, they go to work. They don't, and then when they're done with work, they don't work out. They don't read any books. They don't, they don't do anything to, to get better as an individual. I'm not saying that, like I said, if you're not, if you're not into reading books, that doesn't have to be something like I like reading books because I want, because I, I like the knowledge that it gives. But let's say you talk, you suck at uh, your conversation skills, for example, and you suck at talking to people. Go out of the house and force yourself to talk to five new people every single day. Like, this is an important skill that you have to master because every, because everyone is so addicted to their phones now that no one talks to each other anymore. So, it's an important, and we're getting away from talking to people as human beings now. And it's 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 strange because it's we need human interaction as human beings. We need to talk to people, and this is something that we have to do. We must do as individuals in order to put ourselves in a better position than we were the day before. That's why you got to do these little things every day, like these small little things. Challenge yourself. Break out of your shell. Be uncomfortable and do the things that are actually going to make you grow so you can live the life you want and you can do stuff at a level that other people maybe aren't able to do because they're not doing these things with what I'm telling you do. They're not working out. They're not reading any books. They're not journaling. They're not meditating. They're not. They're not doing any of these things. Like these these activities I've listed, they're literally proven. Hal Elrod says these historically proven exercises. They're proven exercises to work to help you de develop as an individual, to help you get better, to make you strive to improve on what it is that you need to improve on. Like everyone has, everyone has areas they need to improve on. But not everyone works on themselves. Not everyone does. Like, you can just see it if you simply walk down the street. And, and I find it absolutely absurd that people do not work on themselves. Like, it's your life. It's, it's literally yours. It's yours. It's no one else's but yours. So why are you entertaining thoughts that do not serve you? You need to be entertaining thoughts that serve you. Positive, positive thoughts. Not any negative thoughts positive thoughts that serve you, anything that can make you better as an individual, not consuming other people's crap that has nothing to do with you. Stuff that has to do with so whatever is going to make you better as an individual, whatever you want to work on, there's going to be a book on it. There's going to be a YouTube video on it. There's going to be a podcast on it. There's going to be something. There's going to be another person that, that, you're friends with, that you're friends with or close with or you know that is better at it than you, that you can ask them what they did. There's so many different ways that you can, that you can go about this. And just, people just aren't going about it this way. The people just, they just kind of let their life kind of slide by. And they kind of, they don't take it serious how I talk about so much. They don't, you have to take your life serious if you really want to take it to the next level. Because that's what it takes. Like it takes you having a serious attitude of, of how you're actually going to do this. Because most people don't think about these. They don't think about they don't, they don't think critically and think, well, how, how exactly am I going to do this? What am I going to have to do every single day so that I can, so I can achieve my goals? What am I going to have to do to do this? Like when you're, when you have any free time that you have, it must be spent work on yourself. Cali Muscle from prison. His, his free time and his time spent in the cell was either working out or it was reading books. He was either developing himself physically by working out or he was developing himself mentally by reading books. And guess what? If you work out, that helps you develop better develop your mental strength. And if you develop your mental strength by reading, that helps you even further with your physical as well. Like they, they're both interconnected. Physical, mental, emotional, they're so important to do these things <clears throat> every day and strive to become a better version of yourself than you were the day before because these things matter. Like, 
they matter a lot. They matter that you do these things. A lot of people, they don't, they don't pay attention. They pay attention to things that don't matter, which makes no sense. Pay attention to a sports team that has nothing to do with them. They cheer on a sports team, wear a jersey, wear a hat, wear whatever, and cheer this person on. They don't even know who you are as an individual. That person has no idea who you are as an individual, and you're cheering them on. They have no idea who you are. But if you simply work on yourself, every spare time you have, by working out every single day, by learning new information every single day, by getting out of your comfort zone every single day, you're going to grow as an individual, and you're going to get better. And you're going to become a better version of yourself, which is ultimately what you should be doing every single day. Every single day. No days off. That's the video for today. We'll see you in the next video.